Okay, my mic is set up. Good. All right, check it out. What's happening? It's me again, reporting live, nice, fresh, and clean um, from a fresh location with fresh opinions and uncensored ideas and so on. Um, and just to give you a hint of uh, where I'm at right now, so this is how it looks like. It does look like America, right? Maybe it is because it is America. Um, so this is the home of Alcatraz. This is the home of the Golden Gate Bridge and, uh, and some other monumental spots. Yeah, guy dancing, you know what I mean? Um, so uh, this is uh, no place other than San Francisco, baby. Uh, West Coast, the home of, uh, of uh, technology and, and other things, right? San Francisco is, uh, it was very funny. I went for a quick jog in the morning and everything here, it's very central San Francisco. It, it smells like piss, bombs and dirt. It's an extremely dirty place actually. Uh, I mean, the very downtown, unlike kind of like what you might imagine it is, it's a very fucking nasty, dirty, uh, stinky place, to be very honest. That's what it is. But anyway, that's not the message today. The message today is um, kind of like a distinction I wanted to make uh, about, about success, about the drive for achieving success and what drives us, yeah? And the distinction I wanted to make is that there is this popular uh, notion, belief that drive for huge success in whatever area comes from, uh, comes from good things, comes from things like, you know, uh, love and passion, happiness, comes from a place of balance, comes from a place of fulfillment, and all such good things, right? Whereas the actual reality is, and you can ask anybody that has achieved, you know, significant success, but don't ask self-development fucking gurus because they tell you that everything can be balanced and you can have massive success and you can have, you know, everything be perfectly great in your life, which is fucking bullshit. But anyway, the, the, the drive to achieve, you know, extraordinary success comes from from bad things. It comes from complexes, um, dysfunctional upbringing, uh, parenting, uh, you know, which results in, in an ego, which results in a massive need for significance, which is then the driving fuel, the huge energy. That's a little thing there, a little tram. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, and that, that's the real fuel behind the desire, the need, the motivation to achieve massive success, you know? It's not the good things. It is really the bad, dysfunctional things. And so the question is, so what? You know, what's the difference? Who cares? And I think there's a few things. Um, I was thinking about crossing this road, but let me just go this way. Uh, and why it's important to be aware of this distinction uh, is that, well, first of all, um, it just brings self-awareness and, and, and you can understand yourself better if you, if you understand your desire for achieving kind of any success and any material, you know, tangible success and so on. And, uh, you know, the more you understand what drives you, the better you can, you know, really understand yourself, which, which is, I think, in my opinion, uh, part of, of, of fulfillment and uh, having a, a fulfilled, uh, you know, meaningful life. That's number one. Uh, that's a cool thing. Nice, man. Um, and, and, and number two, which is, I think, even more important, is that through self-awareness, you, you can accept yourself better. Yeah, you can accept yourself for who you are, with your own special, you know, motivations, needs, desires, functional and dysfunctional, uh, you know, behaviors and, 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 and thoughts. And so accepting yourself, I think is a huge 
uh, step in the journey of achieving balance, you know? And I'm just walking down this amazing street. You don't see that the angle is quite like, I don't know, like 30%. So I'm gonna be breathless in like a minute. Anyway, um, so that's number two. And number three, um, I think what's also super important is that if you choose so, then you can channel, control, and even nourish uh, the energy that comes from these, you know, dysfunctional, you know, negative things, uh, and from your ego, you can you can channel and direct this energy into into something very productive, which is things like reaching goals and and making your dreams happen, and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? So um, so I would definitely say that that these three things are important to consider when thinking about why, you know, um, why kind of getting to the bottom of what drives people to achieve extraordinary uh, abnormal success is important. And so that's all I wanted to share. I'm just gonna be at the top of the hill right there. Yeah, I'm already losing my breath, um, but that's fine. So uh, thanks for watching this. I will come back soon. Stay well, my friends. Peace out.